Today on our checklist project, we will work on this header part where client says that we need to calculate the whole project kind of status, checklist groups, checklists, and how much is actually done out of all the list. But before we do that, let's fix one bug that I've noticed when completing the task. Sometimes it doesn't complete, although it seems like it's refreshed two out of four, but actually in database, it doesn't complete or it completes the wrong task. In the code, complete task in our live wire component, we have user task, but not filtering that by user itself. We're searching for the task, but we need to add where user ID equals auth ID. First, let's add that here. So now it should work. We refresh, and as you can see, it's one out of four, and that wasn't really saved. But if we do it now, it's two out of four, we refresh and it is saved correctly. Okay, fixed, cool, let's move on. Now this header, in the original documentation, in the original mockups, it is shown on the checklist page, but I have a feeling that it will be included or maybe included in all the header on all the pages. So it should be some kind of an include. And it should be a live wire component because it should be catching the events. For example, something is completed that should refresh automatically, right? So let's create another live wire component, which is for now will be on top of checklist show blade. We have another component for this table, but on top we have another one. So let's make a component, PHP artisan, make live wire, header totals, something header totals count, something like that. And then in here we include headers total count, without any parameters because we'll calculate it in the middle of that component header totals count something like this and let's check if it works first let's put any text here refresh the page this one refresh and we have it here loading great now let's fill in with details let's copy some parts from checklist show blade so it will be a row and it will be a card with card body close the div, close the div, close the div, close the div four times. And instead of checklist name, we put in the text as in the original description, store review for store name. Store name will be a variable, which is for now irrelevant, but let's in, let's put in, again, translate it, store review. And then in the card body, we will have those numbers. Numbers, and let's refresh and see how it looks in the end. Okay, store review, and in here we will have the kind of mini charts. I thought we could have that from core UI theme, but core UI theme dashboard doesn't have those rounded things, although it has a lot of different charts and dashboard icons and dashboard items. But I thought the closest to that is this one. So line chart for percentage. It's not rounded chart, it will be a line chart, but it's the same thing conceptually. And if the client demands in the future that we change that to rounded, then we find some bootstrap CSS for that. But for now, let's implement this. Let's inspect that in the browser and let's copy the code from here. So class progress. Let's copy that and let's see how it looks in general, hard-coded, numbers, progress bar, style width, okay. So this is our main thing, width 40, value 40, minimum 40, maximum 100. So this is the syntax. And on top we have just bold text of 29,000 users. So let's put in, for example, H3 of nine out of 17. And let's see how it looks. We refresh the page looks weird because probably that nine out of 17 should be on top here. Yeah, better. And let's do it a bit smaller. So not MD 12, but MD six, for example. And then in the card body, we will have class row with four columns or as many columns as we need actually for all the checklist groups. So let's see how it would look here as a class column MD three, for example like this and then copy and paste it four times. I'm just playing around with bootstrap styles for now for the front end, just to simulate that. And let's compare that with the original. It looks okay, I would say. Let's just make the room for this one, nine out of 17. So total should be in somewhere different place or actually let's just create another column MD3 and put in just nine out of 17 with h2 for example bigger text 
we refresh and we see the bigger text at the bottom, which is kind of wrong. So probably we'll need to divide to another row and column. That whole row would be divided into class call MD8 for those individual stats. And then the total will be MD4 with that H2, nine out of 17. And then in here, we'll have another class row and all those columns go inside of that row. I hope you're following. I'm just playing around with Bootstrap, as I say. That's the reality of kind of live coding the project, what I'm doing here on YouTube. Yeah, so that's exactly what I wanted. Maybe the total is too big. Let's change that to nine and three. So call MD9 for those columns and call MD3 for the total. We refresh. Yeah, something like that. Now let's work on the data. Okay, I've zoomed it a little bit more so you would understand what is the home page, product page, collection page, and card page. These are the checklists for that checklist group. So that header actually corresponds to one checklist group. So let's make that a parameter of our live wire component. So we have header totals count live wire component and parameter will be public checklist group ID, for example, like this. And we pass that. So in the show blade here, we'll have parameter of checklist group ID, checklist, I think it's checklist group ID, that's how it's called in the database. And now in the header total count, let's calculate the checklists. For now, let's do checklists equals checklist, where checklist ID equals this checklist group ID, get, we pass that to the view. It's kind of like Laravel controller, just in Livewire, checklists. And in here in the blade, we have for each of the checklists here. So for each of checklists as checklist, we have this. And for each, here nine out of 17, let it be hard coded for now, but let's add another H3 for the title. I'm not sure if it has to be H3, it should be probably some kind of another CSS style, but for simplicity, let's stay with H3 for now. And we delete all the other hard coded stuff. No, one is left, okay. And we refresh the page. Checklist one, of course, it is duplicated and copied elsewhere. So we need to filter not just the checklist, but also where null, where null user ID. So only admin checklists, refresh. Okay, and we have only one checklist for that group. If we click push code to GitHub, we have two checklists for that checklist group. And now I already see that those texts are too big. Let's just stick with not H3 or something is just strong for checklist name. And let's do strong here as well. Let's refresh. Okay, it looks better just with a break between them. Okay, cool. Now we need to actually calculate those numbers. And to do that, we will use with count. We don't need the tasks itself, but we do need those numbers. So with count of relationship of tasks with a callback function, actually. So tasks, we need to filter, not all the tasks. Function, query, and then query where null user ID. So total amount of admin tasks for that checklist. And we should have tasks count as a result. So this should be checklist tasks underscore count. Let's see if it works. Refresh and we have zero and we have three. This is correct. Zero items here, three items here and four items here. So we need to just take care of the nine. Now, how many tasks are completed? So we go back here also with count, but with count of user tasks, I will remind you how we did it. We have checklists and we have user tasks as a special relationship counting by user ID. So with count of user tasks, and here we don't need to check where null user ID, but we do need to check where not null completed at. And in here we should have user tasks count as a result. So we, change the nine to checklist user tasks 
count. Let's refresh. And remember, it should be two out of four, right? Refresh. And we have two out of four. Great. We have zero out of zero here and zero out of three here. But for example, let's go here, complete the task. Here we have one out of three, but here we will have one out of three only if we refresh the page. We refresh and we have one out of three. So later in this lesson, we will make that component refresh. But for now, let's calculate these numbers, totals. And we can use collection functions here because checklists is the collection of all checklists. And we can do, for example, checklists sum of some field, for example, tasks count from what I remember tasks count is the field name. Okay, and let's see if it works. It should be let's calculate it three zero and four it should be seven. Refresh and we have three. Oh, no, not seven. It's three and zero. This is another checklist group. So if we click here, it should be four. If we click here or any other, it should be three. And same for the user tasks count It's just the sum of collection field. So user tasks count refresh and we have one out of three or two out of four. Great. So this is kind of a lesson how you use eloquent and collections. You go with one query to the database here, only one query, and then you perform the operations on the collections here and there and not touch the database anymore. A few more things we need to do in this lesson. First, of course, 40% is still hard coded. So we need to take care of that. And let's put an if statement. So if the tasks count is bigger than zero at all, because we need to check the division by zero. So if we do have tasks count bigger than zero, then we do have progress bar. Else, should we have progress bar for the zero? Not sure. Let's actually have it with zero. So we copy that div and let's see how it looks with zero percent. Not sure how it would look visually. Let's refresh and see. We refresh. We have two out of four looking good here. And in here we have empty. Okay, cool. And now we can replace those 40% with actually those calculations. So just dividing user tasks count. So here user tasks count divided by tasks count and multiply by 100. So it has a percentage and similar here value 40 changes to the percentage. And let's see how it looks now. It's one third, right? It does look like one third then two fourth is kind of roughly half. So that's exactly how it should go. I think we're done here with the calculations. Now the final thing is to auto refresh whenever something is completed. And here you will see even bigger power of live wire events. So remember this one is live wire component and then on the sidebar these numbers are live wire components as well that catch the event of completing the task. So we can use the same event and catch that here, listen to that here with just doing listeners property. So if we have protected, I think it's protected listeners, complete task, I think it's the event. Let's check it, checklist show this emit task complete, right? Task complete. And all we need to do here is actually is call the render. So another query to the database and refreshing everything. And we don't even need any parameters of task ID or checklist ID or something. We will just recalculate the whole thing. Of course, we could make some manipulation of just doing plus one, but one more query to the database isn't really a big deal. The main thing that it would work. Let's try it out. We refresh and let's complete the task and see if this changed to two out of three and this changes to two out of three. We click and good. And actually it was really refreshed even visually. So if we click three, look at this part. Looks cool, right? 